legacy of the sportsman is fading. Traditions are being lost. We are not just meant to live on this earth, but we are to subdue it and have dominion over it. To preserve the sport of hunting, pass on traditions to the youth. That is our legacy. The legacy of the hunting grounds. The hunting grounds is brought to you by Lucky Buck. Popeyes of Northwest Arkansas. SJF Productions. Rhino Outdoors. Eagle Seed. Antler Dirt. Shea Bug Design. And Hook Line and Sinker Outdoors. Here in Northwest Arkansas, we've had our first accumulating snowfall, even though it's halfway through February, and as you can tell, it's still slightly sleeting on me. But we heat things up this week as we go to some of our warmer hunts at the beginning of season, and we really heat things up on this week's management moment as we do controlled burns. This is an episode you will not want to miss. I'm relatively new to hunting, but I've had a great season. I had a big buck come in on opening day, but it was before shooting light, so he got away and never saw him again. After that encounter, we didn't have any more luck on that piece of property, so we decided to move to another stand location. We were seeing a lot of does, but bucks were few and far between and out of range. And that was the first time I got to see my first bucks sparring. And they were moving up the ridge and it looked like they were going away from us. So Steve hit the horns and the big boy started making his way in. And now time for the dig in 365 management moment. Now here in Northwest Arkansas we've had an extremely warm winter, which is causing us to burn a lot earlier than we normally would because spring species are already starting to come out of the ground. Now we encourage you all not to do this unless you've had training or a lot of experience in doing controlled burns. Fire can be an extremely useful tool in managing your property, or it can be extremely damaging and harmful tool if you don't know what you're doing. Now this piece of property we're going to be burning today, I came in a few days ago, made some fire breaks. I like to go in there a couple days beforehand because getting down below a lot of that fuel, all that leaf litter, sometimes can be really wet. So I get in there, blow it all out, and then when I come back in a couple days later right before we burn, it allows me to get that excess debris off the top of it and it gets me ready to burn real quick.
Now we've cleared the trail in our woods about four feet wide. Depending on if the fire is going to be easier to cross in there, it will might widen it out a little bit further. Down south of us, we've got a dry creek bed that's really dry. The fire is not going to be able to cross, but now we're ready to burn. Now what we're doing today on this hillside, we're going to start burning at the top because we have a wind that's pushing up the hill. We want to do a slow burn going down the hill. That way it doesn't kill any of our vegetation. It just simply does a cool burn and burn slowly and gradually down the hill without doing too much damage. Because if we were to start down at the bottom of the hill and work with the wind, it's going to have some high flames, it's going to be a very hot burn, and it's going to kill everything on top as it comes up the hill. Now we called our local fire department, notified them that we are doing a control burn, we're A-OK -okay and ready to go, and so now we're going to light her up. Now the areas we burn aren't 30, 60, or 100 acres or more. They're usually an acre or half an acre. And you really have to watch them even it seems a little bit more carefully because you have so many adjacent properties joining to your smaller portion of property that you don't want to have the fire escape and get onto their land. As you can see, the fire is just about out behind us and we're fixing to go burn another piece of the property. We're on to our second burn of the day. This area is a little bit different than the first because we burned the hillside on the first burn. And now we're dealing with this flat area. It's got a lot of mature hardwoods. We came in, did a select cut, and cut down some of these trees, allow that sunlight to penetrate through, hit that forest floor, and promote a lot of growth. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go in and do a control burn, eliminate this fuel off the top of the ground, expose that soil, and give it even a better chance of germinating and producing a lot more vegetation this spring. Well that completes our two burns for the day, got some smoldering stumps, but it did a great job of burning through the fuel that was on the ground, exposing that soil. I can't wait to come back here in a couple weeks and you're going to be able to see a lot of green vegetation growing here. Remember, if you aren't experienced or you don't know what you're doing, make sure that you get someone that knows exactly what they're doing in this before you attempt because it can be dangerous. But here on the hunting grounds property, it works great. So I started to draw my bow back and he walked behind a tree and all I could see was his neck and head and I didn't feel like I had a good shot on him and I just wanted him to take one more step but he turned and walked the other way. October 1st rolled around and Steve got in the stand with Kyle and I decided to go out by myself without a camera in hopes to get my first deer. Little did Steve know he should have came with me. I was watching the coyotes over there and she started walking that way thinking, I don't know, I guess she started walking to the coyotes and then started walking back that way, stayed about 60 yards all the way out here. Got in front of our kill plot on the other side of it, about 25 yards and made it Made the shot. I guess we'll go try to find her.
that was my only deer this year, but it was a great season, and I learned a lot, and I'm looking forward to next year. Well, that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys take something away from it. If you guys like what we're doing or believe in what we do, the biggest way to help us is to take this URL link and go post it to Facebook and get your friends and family to follow us on Facebook and encourage them to check out our website at www.thehuntinggrounds.com. Well, the sleet's picking up. I love nothing more than coyote hunting in the snow, so I'm going to go pick up the 243 in my collar and see what I can make happen. Until next time, go out of your way to get a new youth or a new hunter involved in the outdoors, and as always, have a better than average day. To learn more about the hunting grounds, be sure to check out our Facebook page and our website at thehuntinggrounds.com. And be sure to follow us at Twitter at THGTV. Music for the hunting grounds is provided by Brian Matthew Ellis. Take 200. No, it's not 200. <laughs> 200 more. Okay. I'll stop. Yeah. Up in the woods. In the woods. In the woods. Area. This is an area that we see a lot of wildlife in. Hello? They need help at the house real quick. Let's go up there and help them out. Got the camera.